nesting in ducks in flight. Well, the turkeys are strutting, big bucks are rutting, the family adventure, that's right. When the sun starts setting, you better be a betting, we'll be headed to the old fish fry. Well, a frogging and a strutting and a ducking and a bucking, a family adventure, that's right, TP Outdoors, yeah. Pay it forward, y'all. TP Outdoors Adventures. Brought to you by Ryan Chevrolet, Bayou Power Sports, and these great sponsors. Welcome this week's TP Outdoors Adventures. We're here in the home state of Louisiana, down here in Lake Providence, Louisiana, in the northeast corner of the state. And they have a snake roundup. It's any kind of snake. Uh, uh, Sheriff, I think your office puts this on, correct? Correct. We do this every year. So, uh, from, from what I hear, basically, y'all have a snake problem in this lake. Is that we correct? do. We do. Actually, we bordered the Mississippi, and we have this uh, huge lake here, and you know we have problems with the floodwaters. Right. So, when the floodwaters come up, it usually push the reptiles into the lake or into the city limits. So, it causes a huge problem for our parish. So, we yeah. do this every year to try to um, knock down some of the senses on the snake. You know, it's like it's a beautiful lake and it has to be a, a draw for people from all over the state. But when they come here and go skiing or fishing and there's snakes in, on every tree, it has to be a deterrent to get them to come back. It is a deterrent. So is, we're know. gonna try to wipe out that problem today. Bill, you kind of help put this on a good bit for the sheriff's office, correct? Yes, we do. We uh, use a lot of our local businesses. They all donate door prizes. We try to make a big event out of it. So we'll get a lot of participants. Well, it's doing something good for, for, the, for the ecology of, of keeping the snakes down, but also it gets people in the outdoors and enjoying your great lake here. So the rules of this, are, from the way I understand it, there's a two-man team, which we're going to have a cameraman in our boat. You think you have as many people in the boat as you want, but only two shotguns. Two, two guns per boat. So my AR-15, I have to be really careful. You, you need to leave it at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I got him stuttering on that one. But uh, we're going to have a good time. I think last year they said 30-something snakes in the boats. What was announced that won the, the contest? Winning, yes. Winning. So they, they actually brought in right at 300 with all the participants. Wow. And you have the the categories of winner are the, the most snakes. Is it the longest snake? The longest snake. We, we give out uh, prizes, money. Everything that is put in for as the restoration fee. The restoration fee, everything is paid back to the participants. Oh, that's cool. And then we have donations of guns that are given out for like the longest snake. We give out gun prizes for that and then we have door prizes for all the other participants. That's gonna be a lot of fun. On today's show, the TP team will be using a boat provided by our newest sponsor, Ludwig Brothers Marine in Farmable, Louisiana, and Havoc Boats. The Havoc boat will be an advantage as it draws very little water and will get into the shallow swampy areas that the bigger boats can't access. Team Weed Pro and David Hansen have arrived late and are launching their boat. David hunted in last year's event and even came up and scouted earlier in the week and he's been telling the TP team that they do not stand a chance against his team and that the best TP can hope for is second because his team had first place sewed up. After all 31 teams get their boats launched, it's time for a safety briefing before the hunt begins. Number one Dale out here today is safety. I want everybody to have a good time, but please be safe. Everybody's gonna be having boats in the guns. There's gonna be kids with them. Everybody's going to be having boats in the guns. I bet old Duck is confused now on how to get the boat loaded in the gun. If y'all have any questions, now's the time to ask. I got a question. Yes, sir. Say Team Weed Pro gets a little snake bite and they crying. What do we need to bring them? <laughs> <laughs> you motor boat right to the back end of the hospital if you want to, or you can bring them up here and we'll get him there. <laughs> Let's pray, guys. Father, thank you so much for this great day. Thank you for the beauty of your creation and nature and uh, just the way that we can enjoy it. Thank you for the camaraderie that we feel as a community when we're able to get out and enjoy the lake and, um, and even to hunt today. Father, we pray that you would keep us safe, that your angels would watch over us. Father, that you would uh, be with us in everything that we do. Thank you for the blessings in our life. Be with us as we go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come to Ryan Chevrolet Business Elite, where you can get the tools you need to get the job done right. Utility and flatbeds, cargo and passenger vans, heavy-duty pickups, 
all at your only designated Chevrolet Business Elite dealer in the area. Find out about bonus offers such as Upfit Cash Allowance, Accessory Cash, and more. Check out our commercial lot off Oliver Road in Monroe and ask Merle Dixon how we can save your business money. Ron Chevrolet is proud to be the area's only GM Business Elite dealership. The TP Outdoors team looks for the local guys that support our community, have great prices, and those that back up the sale with the service you expect. Bayou Power Sports offers the best brands like Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Sea Dude. If you're looking for a new motorcycle, UTV, ATV, or PWC, there's only one place to go, and that's Bayou Power Sports. Stop by and talk with our knowledgeable sales staff about reserving your ATV or UTV for the upcoming Second Amendment tax holiday. Bayou Power Sports, I-20 Frontage Road, Monroe. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. Dustin, we play hard, we're tough on our equipment, and we're glad to have Ludwig Brothers Marine as one of our sponsors at TP Outdoors Adventures. Man, we're, we're excited to take care of you guys just like we are of our regular customers, take care of and get you back on the water when you need to. You know, that's important. Guys, everybody, whether it's us filming a TV show or the guys going fishing, it's just got the weekend to go. He's got to have his equipment and it's got to be working right. You know, we got all these competitors that we're competing against, but these guys think they can beat us. So, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Let's see who wins. It's on. It's on. Let's go, boys. Everybody says you shoot a lot of snakes, but when they fall in the water, you can't get them. So we went and Duck started out. He got a frog gig, and this was the first deal. So basically, everybody knows how a frog gig works. You do that, so you catch him like that. Well, I think they can be laying on the bottom. You're not gonna be able to see them. So I made me a took a, a broom. Cut, pulled all the bristles out of it, scrub brush, put it on here with an extension pole. So basically, you're gonna take that, you see foot, see if it works. Wait a minute. Your screws, are, is your screws are not nailed, so they'll grab hold to him. So we're gonna jab down in the bottom and try to grab him with that right there. So, and this is an extension pole with a regular old frog gig on it. We can jab him with it. No litter getter grabber type deal. So, snakes up there, and you reach down and grab a hold of him like that right there. So, we got that one, but it don't close up all the way, so I thought, well, you know, we come up with something better than that, I think. My wire broom. It's got a lock on it here. So. Like a big alligator mouth. <laughs> Come at you like that. That's how we plan on getting them after we shoot them. We're going to shoot them with today, the tool that we've got to do that with. Where's your gun at, Duck? We got my daughter's little 20 gauge 87 pump. We got it here. I and got the judge. Got the judge, five shot, 410. So. We're loaded for bear. None of that works. Say a snake just swims down to the bottom. We think we miss him or can't find him with that. We got this. We got the old catfish doodling set. So ducks going to jump in the water, go down there, and grab a hold of them. That's right. It looks like a lot of fun. I may get in there too. So we'll just see what happens. 10 a.m. has arrived, and it's blast off time. Let the snake adventure begin. Team TP had planned on heading up to the far end of the lake, but after seeing Team Weed Pro headed up to the near bank, Bill figured David must have found something on his scouting trip and decided to follow him. All right, Bill, don't be missing now. Notice that Duck is wearing a bulletproof vest and not a life jacket. Now, I'm not sure if he's worried about Bill shooting him or if he thinks a snake can't bite through the vest. Either way, I think Duck just might be in trouble. Oh. Duck, it's the first snake of the day and you dang near got bit already. Sometimes I wonder if Duck's mom dropped him on his head when he was a baby. All right, 
one down. That's a nice one, duck. Woo! Yeah, you got that boy sucker almost got you when you're gonna get him. You make sure he's dead before you go jumping on him. All right, let's get another one. Let's go, boat driver. <laughs> right now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, how you gonna kill him? You got a knife or anything? Whoa! <laughs> well, that's it. I know Duck was dropped several times on his head when he was a baby. Two snakes and two close calls. Oh, no. No! After all that, Duck loses the second snake of the day to never be seen again. Mister, you gonna go swimming for the day, After an hour or two without finding any more snakes, Bill decided to exit the boat and walk the bank in search of some more. When using your tax dollars to purchase a car, you have options. Pay cash for a clunker with no service and a five-foot warranty. Drive five feet and if it breaks, it's your fault. Or you can choose a dealership with a solid reputation for quality cars. J.D. Buy Riders in-house service department and CNAC financing. Buy a dependable car with an available two-year, 24,000-mile service agreement. At J.D. Buy Rider, we know cars, financing, and what it takes to keep you on the road while improving your credit. Call J.D. Buy Rider today or visit jdbuyrider.com. Finding any snakes while walking, the team heads up one of the canals that feeds the lake. We're getting back in there. After seeing that great shot by Bill, we understand now why Duck had the bulletproof vest on. Uh, Duck was shooting. How'd, how'd you mess that? I had it. I figured I was shooting high, so I put it halfway down his body, and I still shot over it. I'm talking way over. This is a yeast gun. It's too high for a man. I think I got him. Now ask him who caught, who missed that sucker, huh? <laughs> All right, so we uh. We went underneath the tree that we don't think anybody else has been under, and we've seen two snakes since then, but we came to this control structure. It's got a flowing creek coming to it, so we're going to walk, get out and walk up it, and maybe we can find some snakes along the edge of this. So we know we're in uncharted territory, so hopefully we can find some more snakes. Let's go, Duck. Now go get that sucker. He's dead. Hurry. Now this looks like this is working. Coming at us, he was mad. Ugh. Dump him on in, brother. Just dump him on in. Yeah, that was a full blown water box in there. That's where he's in his head. That far up out of the water coming at us. Porter, what do you mean, let the live snakes in the boat? One of the dead snakes crawled out of the box, 
I think Duck and Bill both were dropped on their heads as babies. You always tell a cotton mouth, because they really stink really bad. Oh, God, that stinks to high heaven. We can tell you. We can tell you where not to go. Everywhere we went. Everywhere. What? Yeah, but that comes hamburger Hey, at least you got a snake. We ain't got a snake. After riding the banks for another hour, not finding any snakes, our team decides they must be hunting areas that have already been hunted, and decide to find some areas that no one else is uh, uh, was dumb enough to hunt. Bill and Chris drop Duck off in the swamp and head out to find the sheriff's boat with some hamburgers for lunch. Where else but in Louisiana can it be legal for a bunch of rednecks to ride around in a boat shooting snakes on a public lake and have the sheriff's office bring you lunch? Now, now Bill, I it? thought you were normally hiding from the law, not trying to find I am. Them. Black man, who I am out here. Oh, man. All right, no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some snakes up in there, but they ain't going in there. <laughs> we get out and walk once we get up in there. Get out and yeah, okay. <laughs> you got some alligators up in there, too. You grab them, too. You grab them. We got to get the gator. We got to get the gator now. We got a 10-foot in here somewhere. We got to get them, man. We're going to get them. We're going to get him for you. Give me the I know you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me the gator. Give me the gator. I know you will. Y'all welcome to get him. <laughs> Pick stock up some lunch. Bill, sometimes, son, you just ain't right. Why y'all out there lollygagging? I'm out here killing snakes. No, we got you some lunch. You don't worry about it. Logs in the sun. Where the money's at? Where the money's at, huh? I'm talking. I shot that one. Took another step, and I seen the other one easing off the log. Oh, you getting it too, buddy. Were they on the same log? Two of them was. Them last two shots right there, and I killed another one on the log right there. See that little sunny spot on that log? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wondering where all our snakes went. <laughs> what you jumping for, son? After a quick lunch, Team TP thinks that they figured out where to find the snakes and exit the boat to head up to the swamps looking for the mother load. Got him. Mm. That's a big sucker. Don't spook him. It's easy, Bill. He's sitting right there beside that Shoot line. him. Oh, that's a, that's a record water mucks in there. Oh man, I ain't never seen one that big. That's a water muck. It is a water muck. Biggest water muck in ever. That is a good one. Good night. <laughs> I ain't never <laughs> seen a water muck in that big. Ever. Oh! Here, get that. Get it. We'll check it out. Ready? Yeah. Got him. That's next one. All we need. There ain't much left. <laughs> you get it. I got what's left of mine. <laughs> ain't gonna be much left of this one. I don't think. There's another piece of him. I need something to put this over here. Give me your hat. <laughs> Notice that large bucket Bill has found to carry the snakes in? <laughs> I sure hope the snakes are dead before they put them in the bucket. Give me my bucket of snakes. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, 
brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust. Earned. Nikon. TP Outdoors, we field test what we sell and have experts on location to help you choose the gear you need. Plus, if you find a lower price, we'll match it, guaranteed. From hunting to hardware, it's TP Outdoors. <laughs> yeah, baby. I don't want to put that one in my bucket, though. He's going to be. I found me another black mama. Hang on. Oh, my God. You ready? Yeah. I'm Woo! Bill! 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 Wow. Look at the size of that head on that sucker. Porter, those bites you, you're dead. Oh, do I. Put this one in your bucket. Mm. Oh, that big All right. If we take that head, slap off. Just One like thing it. I don't worry about no more. Just like it. I may have lost. Ooh, now you lost, but what if you lose by an inch now? Oh, that'd be a crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'd cry if I lost by an inch. What time is it? 2.30. 2.30, it's over at 3 o'clock. Over at 3, we got to get back to the we got bank. got about so. a 30-minute boat ride. Oh, look at that sucker just spit that frog up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That big snake spit that out. Look at it. Ah. It ate his foot off. It done dissolved off of their front foot. Uh, this side. Look at that. Uh. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to be late. Take it home, Captain. Out. Let's see what you boys have got. Twenty dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Hanson. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, whoa. You got one oh, and a half. Two, two, two poisonous. One non-poisonous. We're going by the number of poisonous well, snakes. We can beat that too. <laughs> In the biggest. The most poisonous and the most everything. Yeah. I just yeah. printed this up. <laughs> 20 but I'm gonna frame it. First time Hanson's ever given me anything. First time. <laughs> it was fun though. We had a good time. We Let's walk over and let me show you what we did. What? We shot the head off and the frog smell out of the Y'all got some in there. Y'all got some in there. Y'all got some in Y'all got some in there. Y'all got some in there. Y'all got some in there. Y'all got some Really? <laughs> After all the teams are safely back in, a biologist from LSU measures and counts all the different species of snakes that were taken. You can see 47 and one quarter on a diamondback water snake. Go ahead and hold in there and we get a link on them. I'm going after this Louisiana state record. Yeah, this one here is still kind of... Not even. I got 52 and a half on him. Fifty-two inches and a half. As you can see, our team TP Outdoors. I think we got sixteen, and we picked up over twenty. But I think Hanson may have, you know, tried to sabotage. How many y'all get, Dave? I can't count that high. They got three. Okay, he can't count that high. What school did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> From Texas. We were that's, just going for the size. <laughs> that's the deal. All right, but anyway. Sheriff, Bill, we appreciate y'all having us out today. From looks of the way in over, it looks like y'all must have killed several hundred snakes. Now. Yes. It, it looks, it's probably going to end up being close to a three. 300, probably. And that, you know, accomplished exactly what y'all were trying to accomplish. Yes, sir. I think. It sure did. It was a good turnout. Everybody 
evidently had a lot of fun. And so far, nobody's been injured yet. Most of the snakes that's, are that's in. The shooting's thing. over with. That's it was right. a good, safe hunt. So, you know, I think everything worked out right. But uh, we had a lot of fun, yeah. and we appreciate y'all having us up and letting and us we, do this. And we appreciate y'all coming over. Look here, we didn't kill any snakes hardly till the last after one o'clock. So mm -hmm. we got it figured out for next year. Y'all better watch out. We're gonna fill the boat up. Come on back. <laughs> we'll be here. Yeah. All right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go at them again. We appreciate the hospitality. Y'all brought us food and drinks out on the lake and just couldn't have done anything to help us out anymore, so we sure appreciate that. We appreciate y'all being here. Y'all stay tuned next week for more TP Outdoors Adventures. All right, guys, let's load it up go home. Team TP! <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this week's adventure. No matter what time of year it is, you can always find an adventure in the outdoors. Thanks to all of our great sponsors, and be sure to check out our sponsors and support the businesses and manufacturers that support our way of life in the great outdoors. Tune in next week for more TP Outdoors Adventures. Come to Ryan Chevrolet Business Elite, where you can get the tools you need to get the job done right. Utility and flatbeds, cargo and passenger vans, heavy-duty pickups, all at your only designated Chevrolet Business Elite dealer in the area. Find out about bonus offers such as upfit cash allowance, accessory cash, and more. Check out our commercial lot off Oliver Road in Monroe and ask Merle Dixon how we can save your business money. Ryan Chevrolet is proud to be the Arizona GM Business Elite dealership.